Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we're talking about the new Chanel Spring 2023 makeup collection and so far Chanel released new shades. They added new shades to the existing Rouge Allure Velvet lipstick line from Chanel. These are the matte lipsticks from Chanel, which is one of my favorite formulas. Nothing in the formula is changed. They just added new shades and I have five of the new shades that I'm going to show you in this video. I'm also going to show you and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the new body creams that they released from the Chanel line. And also there is a new face moisturizer from the Numero 1 de Chanel line. As far as I know, these products are going to be part of the permanent line. And in February, they are going to release the limited edition spring makeup collection with the limited edition eyeshadow quad, the blush, the new balm essentials, and I've already showed you some sneak peek photos. So in case you're interested, I'm going to link this video in the description box below just to see what's coming next from Chanel. But this collection is about to launch in February. That's the information that we have for now. Now I'm going to start with the lipsticks because I believe that most of you are interested to know more about the lipsticks. This is not a new lipstick formulation from Chanel. This is just the, the well-known Rouge Allure Velvet lipstick line from Chanel and these are the iconic matte lipsticks from Chanel. They just added new shades and extended the shade range, which I think is beautiful. All of the colors that they added are gorgeous and it's very hard to pick the right shades, but in this video I'm going to tell you a little bit more and I want to pay attention to a few colors that are going to be suitable for different skin tones. As a lot of you probably remember, Chanel usually release new shades from time to time and add new shades to the existing Rouge Allure Velvet line. Sometimes the new colors that they create are limited edition and they usually come in a more special limited edition packaging like the one with the stars or the red packaging that we used to have a few years ago or a little camellia on top or the limited edition Lilion line. These new lipsticks come in the classic Chanel packaging with the CC logo and the click opening like all of the other permanent shades from the Rouge Allure Velvet line. That's why I think that these shades that they just added are not going to be limited edition. At least this is what I have um, as information from my local Chanel boutique. As far as I know, these are going to be permanent, so you don't have to be in a hurry to buy the colors. I think that they released the lip colors now so that more people can buy more colors and then when they release the spring makeup collection, apparently a lot of people are going to be tempted to buy from the spring makeup collection as well. And if you think this is a very smart move from Chanel, because if they release the lipsticks and the limited edition spring makeup collection all at once, we are all going to think a little bit more and probably buy less of the lipsticks and probably think more about our purchases. So always make sure to plan your purchases ahead of time. I always try to show you what's coming next. And this is the purpose of this Will I Buy It videos and the beauty news videos. The new lip colors that I'm going to show you in this video are number 46, Magnetique or magnetic, and then 48 Ardente, which is fiery, number 60 Intemporal, which is timeless, and number 62 Libre, free, and number 72 Mysterious or Mysterious. Now these are the colors that initially attracted my attention and it turned out that number 62 Libre is actually not a new color. This is part of the permanent line, but I saw that it's such a beautiful color, so I couldn't skip it. I was actually thinking that it's a, one of the new colors, but it turned out that it's not. It turned out that it's part of the permanent line. I'm very pleased with all of my purchases and with all of the colors that I decided to choose. I'm probably going to purchase also the color 64 because it is very beautiful. I placed my order online and then I had the chance to go to my local boutique where I was able to swatch the colors. Unfortunately, my swatches didn't appear to be beautiful because probably the lighting in the boutique was not very good or the weather was cloudy, I don't know, but I didn't get, unfortunately I couldn't get good swatches, but I was able to play a little bit with the colors and I had the chance to see some of the colors on different skin tones. When I visited my boutique there were two girls in the boutique and we had some fun with the new lip colors. They had different skin tones than mine. One of the girls was with um, light medium skin tone with olive undertone and the other one was more I would say medium to deep skin tone and I asked them if they're willing to try some of the shades so that we can see how they're going to look. So we had some fun there and I wanted to share with you my thoughts. We wanted to pay attention and give you some guidance about the colors. Number 64 looks absolutely beautiful on 
light medium skin tone with olive undertones. So if you have light medium skin tone with olive undertones, then I would say definitely I would suggest you trying 64. It turns into this absolutely gorgeous, almost like dusty, rosy, dusty rosewood color. Very extraordinary, very beautiful. On my lips, this one pulls a little bit more red and it doesn't look as flattering. It is beautiful. I'm considering to buy this color, but it doesn't look as beautiful as it looks on light medium skin skin tone with olive undertones. The other color that I wanted to pay attention to is number 45, Intense. Again, this color looks incredibly flattering on light medium skin tone and on deeper skin tone, but it looked the most flattering on light medium skin tone with olive undertones. If you fall into this category, then definitely go ahead and try number 45. It just turns into this absolutely stunning pink color that looks very fresh, very youthful, very beautiful. On me, this one looks a little bit more pink than I would want it to look. And to be honest, I have to be in the mood for this kind of pink color for now. I'm not in the mood and if I buy this lipstick, I'm mostly going to use it as a stain, not really applied straight from the bullet because it is a little bit too pink for my taste right now and for my liking right now. The other color that I wanted to pay attention to is number 63, and this color is universally flattering. It looked so beautiful on all three skin tones. It looked very beautiful on me, it looked very beautiful on light medium skin tone, and then on deeper skin tone as well. This is like a universally flattering shade, so I would say that it's suitable almost for everyone. I wanted to say a few words about the formulation of the Rouge Allure Velvet lipsticks. This is one of my favorite lipstick lines from Chanel along with Rouge Allure. Rouge Allure and Rouge Allure Velvet are two of my favorite lipstick lines from Chanel. Rouge Allure Velvet is my preferred lipstick line from Chanel for the spring and summer months because I love to create a glowy makeup look and then to have a matte lipstick. Also, I find that my lips are less dry during the spring summer season and that's why a matte lipstick is very suitable. I'm looking at, there is a little bird on my window, which is very interesting. Anyways, um, I got distracted a little bit, but I really love this formulation from Chanel. I don't like the Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme line because it dries out my lips and I literally cannot wear it. It's way too drying on my lips, but this one I find that it is exactly um, has the right formulation. It's a beautiful matte lipstick that allows me to shape my lips the way I want to, and it's very long lasting. It lasts um, on my lips. It on my lips, it lasts approximately four or five hours without touch-ups, even if I drink coffee. Of course, I have sensitive lips and that's why I always like to apply just a little bit of lip balm, but not too emollient. I usually use something like Nivea just on the center of my lips um, to prevent my lips from cracking because every matte lipstick feels a little bit drying on sensitive lips. So this is my trick. About the finish, it's not a completely flat matte finish and it's non-drying, but I would say that it's a luminous matte finish. One thing that I love about Chanel's matte lipsticks is that you feel like you're not wearing a lipstick, they feel like nothing on the lips. And you can use them as a stain or you can apply them directly from the bullet to have a little bit more impact. They look beautiful, they wear beautifully and they don't dry my lips. Once again, I have sensitive lips and I always prefer to apply just a touch of lip balm before applying a matte lipstick, but this applies for all matte lipstick formulations. I think that the colors that they released are beautiful and they're suitable for so many different skin tones. Uh, you have beautiful nude colors and you have this gorgeous rosewood colors also. There are beautiful fuchsia colors. My favorite shade is definitely number 46, which is the shade that I'm wearing in this video. And I'm going to be wearing this lipstick a lot because it is the perfect combination of pink and red. It makes my lips a little bit fuller. Now, I didn't shape my lips, but I can definitely go ahead and shape my lips a little bit better. I can definitely make them look fuller. Then we're moving on to the new Chance body creams, and this is not a new release. They used to have these body creams in the past, then suddenly they disappeared from the website and they re-released them. 
today. Unfortunately, I don't have the box of the old cream that I used to have to compare the ingredients, but I suppose that probably they became a little bit more clean because you know that there is this huge clean trend going on right now. But I'm going to give you a screenshot of the ingredient list now. And the ingredients are quite good for a body moisturizer. I think that the ingredients are quite good. I in my latest preview video, I told you about these creams and I told you wait for my review before purchasing because they are more expensive compared to the body lotions of these body lotions of the Lizzo line from Chanel. It looks like for this spring season, Chanel are re-promoting their Chance fragrance line and I took advantage to purchase my favorite Chance fragrance and this is the Eau Tendre. Eau de Parfum. This is my favorite fragrance from the Chance line and I have repurchased this one since it was released. I usually like to wear it in the spring slash summer season but I would say that this fragrance is universally, it's very universal and it's seasonless. You can wear it even in the winter time. Now the difference between the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum, I prefer the Eau de Parfum because it has a little bit more depth and it is a little bit more feminine whereas the eau de toilette has a little bit more citrusy notes and it's less long lasting this one is very long lasting i decided to go for the 50 ml because i know that i'm going to be using this fragrance a lot it develops beautifully and it is a long lasting fragrance the only downside of the eau de toilette was that for me personally was that it was not long lasting this one lasts very well on me. It is a classic Eau de Parfum. Now about the body cream. I think that the body cream is a great addition or if you don't want to splurge on the fragrance, you can just go ahead buy the body cream and you it's basically like you have the fragrance. Same as this one. Now the body creams are considered to be more luxurious. They come in a glass packaging. This one is very heavy and definitely feels more luxurious. I think that's why the price is much higher compared to the body lotions from Lizzo line. These two are absolutely gorgeous. This is a body lotion and just feels lighter on the skin. And this is a rich body cream and it's more moisturizing, it's more rich. I would say that the body cream leaves the skin a little bit softer, whereas this one is like a body milk. You only need a little bit. I don't use these two products as body moisturizers. I usually like to moisturize my skin, use an unscented body moisturizer and then use these products on top just to add fragrance to my legs and arms and I can guarantee that if you only apply the body lotion or the fragrance to your legs and arms probably a little bit on the chest if you want to of course people are going to, to think that you actually use the fragrance. I think that not only this is a great addition if you have the fragrance apparently you're going to use a lot less from the fragrance or sometimes if you don't want to use the fragrance and you just want to smell beautiful this body cream is fantastic. You can apply it and then directly dress because it doesn't leave stains. Same applies to this product as well. So next we're moving on to the new Numero 1 de Chanel Rich Cream. I already used the cream from the Numero 1 de Chanel line and I would say that I've tried the eye cream, the serum and the cream from the Numero 1 de Chanel line. I tried all of these three products last year when they were launched and I would say that my favorite product from the whole line was definitely the Numero 1 de Chanel cream. So if you like the cream and if you felt like it's not enough, I think that the rich cream is going to be fantastic. Now, if I have to be honest, I did not see any difference in my skin when I was using the serum and the cream. They are good products. My favorite product was definitely the cream. It moisturizes the skin, it leaves the skin soft, but I wouldn't say that I will repurchase. I would not repurchase. I didn't even finish the jar of the cream because I didn't see any difference in my skin. Yes, it's nice, it's pleasant, it has a fragrance. The fragrance is not too strong, but it depends also how sensitive you are to fragrances. I'm used to fragranced skincare. If you are sensitive to fragrances, then this is going to be a deal breaker for you. But I would say that this rich cream is great if you already used the Numero 1 de Chanel cream. 
and you want something that's a little bit more rich, a little bit more moisturizing, especially for this time of the year, for the winter season, I think that this is an excellent addition to your skincare. I'm not tempted to buy because as I mentioned, I did not like the whole line and I didn't think that it did something for my skin. So that was all for today's video. I hope that you find this video helpful and I can't wait for the spring makeup collection to launch. I think that the blush is going to be my favorite piece from the spring makeup collection, but I still haven't seen the collection in person. So I'm still about to see the collection and for sure I'm going to review the collection on this channel. So be sure to subscribe, also turn the notification bell on and don't forget to check out my French Beauty Secret series. I would love to see you there. I would love to read your comments. I'm very passionate about filming this series. This is the place where I share with you my natural makeup looks and this series are very suitable for those of you who like to enjoy quick, easy, everyday makeup looks. And thank you so much for the positive feedback on these videos as well. It means so much to me. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.